2 brought the team to Utica College and a 34-10 victory for the Engineers, who improved to 2-0 overall. Defensively, the Engineers were led by two defensive backs, senior Brett Perrin and John Tessero. Perrin led the team with six tackles, while Tessero finished with five tackles and an interception. Offensively, the Engineers gained 364 yards, with 227 coming on the ground. Jay Bernardo once again continued his dominance with 134 yards rushing and four touchdowns. Adam Logeris led the special teams with an 80-yard kickoff return for a touchdown, the first return for a touchdown in almost 10 years by RPI. Logeris finished the day with three punt returns for 41 yards and one kickoff return for 80 yards and a touchdown. the engineers welcomed the Hobart Statesmen in Detroit for their league and home opener. RPI fought back from a 24-3 deficit in the fourth quarter, only to come up short and suffer their first loss of the season, 24-17. Senior captain Jay Bernardo led the team with 85 yards rushing and a touchdown, extending his consecutive game streak of scoring at least one rushing touchdown to 13. Senior captain John Branch caught the only touchdown through the air, while also hauling in four receptions for 52 yards. The defense was led by junior Tom Rahill, who had 11 tackles, including three solo stops. the engineers were once again home at 86 field. RPI welcomed Becker College for the first ever meeting between the two programs. RPI looked to bounce back from the week before and get their first home win of the season. The engineers scored five touchdowns in the first quarter and went on to a 56-6 victory and improved to 3-1. The offense accumulated 295 of its 380 total yards rushing. Senior captain Jay Bernardo rushed for 87 yards and two touchdowns before giving way to freshman running back Jason Scarlotta, who rushed for 104 yards and two touchdowns. Defensively, the engineers were led by senior safety Brett Perrin, who had three tackles, two interceptions, and a pass breakup. Yeah. <laughs> 